do you do if you are in a relationship, a good relationship, and you find yourself strongly attracted to someone else? That's coming up next on The Beat. Hey everyone, my name is Alan Parr. Thank you all so much for tuning in to The Beat. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping people like you grow spiritually by giving you truth, training, and teaching from the Word of God. And so today we want to look at a very practical question. What happens, not if, but when you are in a relationship with someone and you find yourself strongly attracted to someone Else. So when that happens, I want to suggest these four things. The first thing that we need to remember is that temptation in and of itself is not a sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. Essentially what Paul is saying here is that this is common. It is going to happen. It is inevitable. It is not an if, it is a when, because I've got news for you that God did not stop making attractive people after he made your significant other. If it hasn't happened already, at some point in your relationship, you are going to meet someone else who looks better than your spouse or your significant other. Somebody who uh, is, is smarter, somebody that has a better personality, a better sense of humor, makes more money money, somebody that is seemingly more spiritual than the person that you are with right now. It is going to happen. The key is to remember that even though temptation may be unavoidable, sin is always escapable. The second thing that I want to say is huge, and it seems obvious on the surface, but I see it all the time. Do not flirt with the person that you are attracted to. The Bible says, can a man play with hot fire and not get burned? It's easy whenever you've been in a relationship for a while and you are not getting your needs met to simply have the desire to be desired again or to have that passion or that fire back. And it's easy to think, well, you know what? It's seemingly innocent because I'm not physically doing anything with this person. I'm just simply flirting with them. Let me give you four reasons why flirting can be very dangerous to your relationship. Number one, flirting communicates to the person that you're flirting with that you are unhappy in your current relationship and that there are problems that really are none of their business. The second thing that I would say about flirting is that flirting always leads to fantasy. In other words, the more you begin to flirt with this person, send a suggestive text, have a hug that lasts just a second too long, send a smile that you know is designed to get their attention. The more you do that, the less your attention and your desire is for your spouse, thus making it so that you are sabotaging your own relationship. Number three, flirting is disrespectful. In other words, if you are flirting with somebody who is with someone else, then essentially you're doing to them what you would not want someone to do to your significant other. And finally, flirting is misleading. It sends and communicates the idea that you are available even though you are not. And that idea can also cause someone else to stumble because now they are fantasizing about you instead of the person that they are with. So if you are in close quarters with this person that you are attracted to, my suggestion would be, if possible, to remove yourself as far away from that person and that situation as possible. Third thing that I would say would be don't be deceived. Luke chapter 15 tells us about a story of a young man who was content in his father's house only to begin thinking that there was something better on the other side. So he goes out, he finds out that there's nothing better in the world only for him to realize that he was better off where he was. The point here is for us to truly understand how the devil works because if we do not understand how he works, he will get us every single time. What he loves to do is to dangle something new in front of us because he knows that our human nature is always attracted to something which is forbidden and off limits, but also something that is new. He is also a master at highlighting the positive things while hiding the negative things, making us think and be convinced in our mind that we are getting a better deal. But what we don't realize is that everything that is new today will eventually become old tomorrow, which means that it is only a matter of time before we begin Begin to repeat the cycle. The fourth and final thing that I would say is to be intentional about investing in your marriage. So if you are constantly finding yourself attracted to other people, particularly everyone but your spouse, 
that is a warning sign that there is a problem in the relationship that needs to be addressed and you need to do the work to try to address that problem. So if you value the relationship and more importantly, if you're married and you value your relationship with God, that means the two of you need to be intentional about doing the work that is necessary to reclaim and rekindle and rediscover that intimate connection and passion that you once had because if it was there at one point, it can be there again. Question of the day, what is your advice? What do you do whenever you are in a relationship with someone that you love and care about, but you are attracted to someone else? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave those in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Be sure and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. Hey, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Beat.